Alright, what's up everyone? It's me, Barky, and I'm here with a mod for RimWorld Alpha 17, and I'm not actually in the game, as you can see, I'm just looking at the mod over here, and this is the Solar Apocalypse and Rogue Planet mod by Marvin Kosh, who's a really, really cool mod maker. He makes a lot of interesting stuff, um, but this is one of the coolest mods that I've seen. So this adds in two events in the game. They're permanent map conditions, so you can't get them while playing, but they're sort of like you set it up as a game that you want to play. So first off, you get the Solar Apocalypse um, one, and then you get the Rogue Planet one. And basically, what they do is they affect the temperature of the world on a long time frame, and I mean incredibly long. So the Solar Apocalypse, for example, means that solar activity increases at an alarming rate, creating a never-ending heatwave and runaway greenhouse effect. So you can kind of get an idea of what it does just by that, but it increases the temperature every single year, slowly and slowly, and it's, it seems to be about 2 degrees per season. Between 1 and 2 degrees per season, about 8 degrees a year, roughly. 8 degrees Celsius a year. And then Rogue Planet is just the reverse. It gets colder and colder because the planet is moving away from the star. About 8, 7 or 8 degrees a year. So what I've gone and done, because this mod takes so goddamn long to test out, I've made a time lapse of both of the worlds as they change. The one I went up to 10 years for the cold world and then to 75 for the hot world. I, just wanted, I was just messing around, I thought it was a lot of fun. Just keep in mind that I was using Fast Ecology on this. So your experience may vary depending on what you use. I use Fast Ecology because I can't actually wait for a game to progress 10 years every time I want to make a video like this, so I just wanted to speed it up. But it seems to be reasonably accurate, I would say. Reasonably so. Alright, so I started off on a hot planet. I didn't want to go with the extreme desert because I wanted to show how the wildlife dies eventually. So the average temperature in this world is about negative 70 degrees Celsius, which is incredibly hot, but it's not its not what you could possibly get on the hottest world, but I did set temperature to the max, and then I chose a uh, normal temperate forest. All right, so it's been about eight years now using fast ecology, and it's dropped 60 degrees. So that's pretty freaking crazy. That's about seven degrees a year that this mod affects. As you can see, it's actually getting to negative seven, but this is in the middle of the night. It's about seven degrees, seven degrees a year. I would say using fast ecology, it might be different in an actual game, but that is pretty significant. All right, so then I went ahead and reversed the situation. I went and found the coldest sea ice map I could find on a randomly generated world. I um, set up the solar apocalypse permanent map condition on this world, and I want to see how that affected it. So we started at about negative 67 degrees Celsius average temperature, which is the coldest map tile I could find on this world at least. All right, so 75 years later using the solar apocalypse um, permanent map reset, you can see that it is now 567 degrees Celsius outside or 1052 Fahrenheit, which is about 620 degrees hotter than it was before, which is absolutely insane. <laughs> That is astonishing. But that's 75 years. No colony will ever last this long. But again, that's about 7, seven 8 degrees a year, roughly, that this ad, it gets hotter and hotter, because we are in sea ice at the moment. And if we go to world, we can actually take a look at exactly how cold it should be. Winter temperature about negative 61. Average temperature is negative 35. So that's ridiculously cold. I mean, this is just really cold and it's been now, now it's like super hot everything on this world will burn and die if i put down a person you can see immediately it took a whole lot of damage just burn burn it's gonna die dies within seconds like within seconds that's crazy let's see or he gets down within seconds anyways that is the mod it, it is incredibly awesome i'm probably going to be using this in all of my playthroughs from now on i have to say at least I can't see why I wouldn't. Um, this is amazing. I actually love, I love the Rogue Planet one a lot. So the Apocalypse is cool, but I really love the Rogue Planet preset. That's awesome. Anyways, have an amazing day, guys. See ya. Hey, you. Thanks so much for making it to the end of my video. I really, really appreciate it. Editing videos is both my hobby and my passion. And with that in mind, I've decided to open up a Patreon if you'd like to support me besides in the amazing ways that my subscribers already usually do. I've got loads of perks and benefits, including having your own personally custom-made colonist being one of my default colonists in the mod showcases, special roles on Discord, joining me while I stream, monthly Q&As and podcasts. I've got it all. Come take a look. All support is always appreciated, monetarily or not. If you're a subscriber, then be sure to hit the little bell over here to always be up to date with videos I push out, and head over to the Discord if you ever want to have a deep and meaningful chat with me.
And last but not least, I hope you're having an amazing day.